Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add playfab to your Gorilla Tag fan game. And pretty much playfab is the thing that allows you to ban people in your game. It allows you to give moderators special cosmetics. It allows you to do so many things. Pretty much Gorilla Tag and all good Gorilla Tag fan games use playfab. So if you want a good, popular, working Gorilla Tag fan game, it's best to add playfab to it. Also, in order for this tutorial to work, you will need to follow my Photon VR tutorial. The link to that will be in the description of this video. Please like and subscribe because it helps me out so much you don't even understand to my discord to link in the description if something in this video doesn't work or if you just need some help also also maybe join the discord server for my game proboscis also link in the description recently it's been pretty popular and we're working very hard to get updates out also please consider becoming a channel member to get so many awesome perks more about that at the end of the video and anyways guys let's get straight into the video okay guys so first of all you need to go to the first link in the description it's for the unity playfab sdk once you download it just drag it into unity and then this will all show up is click all here on the bottom left here and then click import and just wait for it to import so now that that's imported we have playfab sdk next you want to go to the second link in the description for the unity editors extension just click on this here on the right side under releases unity editor extensions whatever the latest version is just click on it and download the source code and then open it up open up this file I have WinRAR here, so it shows up like this. So then just go to packages, and here there will be playfab editor extensions.unity package. Drag it into your Unity project like that. So again, click all and click import. I might give you some warnings here, but this doesn't matter. They're just warnings. The next step, well, I'm just going to save. But the next step, you want to go to window here in the top left of your Unity project. Go down to where it says playfab and click on editor extensions now once you're here go back to your google chrome tab go to playfab.com or you can just go to the link in the description for playfab.com then on the top right here you will want to click sign up and make an account but i already have an account so i'll just sign in with mine and here you should have nothing here and then just click new studio here on the top right make the studio name whatever you want it to be so i'm just going to do tutorial to for authentication provider just keep this at playfab and then click save studio now usually it just gives you a blank screen for some reason but you just want to go back here to the playfab logo and just click on it then find your game and click on it and it might show up as my game so just click the cog wheel here on the top left go to edit title info and then for the name type in the name of your game you can upload a image here but there's really no need no one's going to be seeing it and just click save the title here now go back to unity log in with your account and once you log in it should say that you have the latest sdk if it doesn't then it'll say to like update it just click on the button to update it and then it'll say before making playfab api calls the sdk must be configured to your playfab title and then it says set my title underneath that on the left so then just click on set my title for studio click on where it says override or whatever and then click on you know the game and then for title id make sure it's set to your game for request type make sure that's set as unity web request and make sure this is not checked the compress api data then you want to go back to your hierarchy on the top left here right click click on create empty and call this playfab manager and then you want to go to the link in the description it'll be a google drive or something and it'll have scripts in it so first you want to put your scripts folder in unity and then go to that link you first want to right click on the playfab manager script and click download and then in unity right click go to import new assets and double click on the playfab manager script that you just downloaded and now it should be imported and then just drag that onto the playfab manager game object in your hierarchy then you want to go back to the google drive folder and download the script called get ban reason and import it in here just like we did before and then drag that onto the playfab manager and it should be on here and then here on the bottom click on assets here go to the scenes folder that you should have right click go to create and go down to where it says scene and click on scene and then call it bans exactly spelled like this same capitalization and everything then click enter then double click on this Make sure to save here and now delete this main camera. Now pretty much if someone is banned, this is the scene that they will go to. So I'm just going to make a cube and I'm going to make this floor really, really big. You can do whatever you want. 
Just to verify that this is the band scene, I'm just gonna make the floor black. So once you're done, you know, doing whatever, you can put text that says like your band or whatever. Just go to file, go to save, go back to assets, go to the scenes folder and go to sample scene or whatever the name of your other scene was. Okay guys, so now everything should be set so far. So just go up here and click on the play button here. Once again, please follow my Photon VR tutorial because that would be best for this to work. Now, as you can see, we're in here and I can go back to scene. For me, it's not connecting right now, but that's just a Wi-Fi issue. But for you, it should connect. But you know, once you're in, it doesn't matter what you do. You can just, you know, blah, 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 and then go out. Then go back to your PlayFab tab. You can refresh the page here. Once again, for me, it's taking a while because my Wi-Fi is being very bad right now. Okay, guys, so then once it reloads, you want to go to players here on the side of PlayFab. Here, or to search players, just click search on the side. And then here, there should be a player ID. And this is your player ID. Me, I don't actually think this is my player ID, but once again, that's just boosting my Wi Fi. For you, it should be perfectly normal. Now, there's one more thing to do, but now let me show you how to ban someone. So, click on the player ID and then click on this tab here that says bans and then click on add ban on the top right. And for the ban reason, type in whatever. I'm just gonna do test and duration hours. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put one for now and click add ban and now they're banned and now if we load in here once again I don't think it's gonna work for me because of my Wi-Fi yeah for me it's not gonna work right now because of my Wi-Fi but for you it should work and if you're banned it will put you into the ban scene and then to remove a ban go back to playfab go to the player ID go to bands here and here click on the ban click this box here it'll make it blue and then click revoke and then revoke bans and then once this loads they will be unbanned see as you can see status is set as inactive now now there's one more thing now see you can see their player id but you have no idea who they are in game so it doesn't show their photon player name so in order to do this to make playfab display the username in game and let's say you're using my name computer tutorial you need to go to your gorilla rig gorilla player Make sure left and right hand controller both have a tag set as hand tag exactly like this on the top right. Left hand controller should have a layer exactly like this. Right hand controller should have a layer exactly like this. And both controllers should have a sphere collider with its trigger turned on and a radius of 0.05 or 0.06. Now you want to go to your computer, click on the backspace one and duplicate it by doing control D and just drag it to wherever you want your enter key to be. Then go to the text here, see in the hierarchy, the drop down and then text. Then you can set the text to say enter. I also think that if you follow my tutorial, it might already have this key, but I don't think it has a script, but I don't know. And then on the enter key, just click on the three dots on the backspace script, click remove components. And then you wanna go back to the Google Drive folder with all the scripts. And you need to find the script that's called execute button name. And then once again, just download that and import it into Unity. And then drag the script onto the enter key here in the hierarchy. Then where it says hand tag, change that to hand tag. And for name scripts, just click this little circle here and click on the keyboard thing that it shows. And now it should all be working. I'm just going to save that again and test it out. Now, once again, my Wi-Fi is being very bad right now, but I can drag my player over here and, you know, type in some keys. As you can see, the name shows up there. And then I'm not connected right now, so it won't show up on my player and stuff. But once you click enter, now I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to go back to PlayFab and refresh my page once again my wi-fi is being very very bad right now once it reloads just click search here and now underneath the player id you can see it shows the username that the person entered in then you can go here to playfab type in you know the username or whatever And then the username should show up and then you can ban them like I talked to you before. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Please go to my Discord server, link in the description. If anything doesn't work for you, you know, maybe you need some help with Unity. And also please join my Discord server for my game Proboscis. Also link in the description because we're working so hard to get updates out. And honestly, it's a pretty fun game. So please play, join the Discord server for it. 
in the description. Everything in this video is linked in the description. Also, please consider becoming a channel member to get so many awesome perks, including getting a special channel member only section in my Discord server, getting early codes to videos and live streams and stuff like that, getting to play many private lovers with me in a gorilla tag, and I guess also my new game, Proboscis, every single week, and getting a shout out at the end of every single video I make, just like the people on the screen right now. And anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Peace.